Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with this portal ley line stuff. God, you monstrosity. I don't have any fuel. Hmm. Oh, I don't even have starship fuel. Yikes. Oh, I need the hydrogen to craft some of that stuff so first. Let's see what we got here. Is there any that hydrogen around here? Hmm. I don't know, but I found a lot of creatures. That's why I hydrogen. Get some of that. Oh man, it's a whole bunch. Actually, perfect. See what I can get. Fragment, you say? There we go. Now I need my metal plating. I believe I have down here. Or a new one. There we go. Popping my ship. Yep, we got one metal plating in here, so I can make one starship fuel, which is more than enough. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and head this way. And let's pop over to these ley lines. So hopefully everyone's weekend is going well. You know, I've been doing a lot of job interviews again. You know, unfortunately, like I mentioned, the job that I had just gotten isn't working out the way that I originally intended it to. And there's a lot of promises that they claimed that they were going to keep up with, and it hasn't gone through the way that they claimed. So I'm not going to, you know, bust my hump trying to get stuff that I want, and then they're not going to give it to me. Because they're like, oh, well, you know, we just can't give it to you right now. I'm like, we don't know when we're going to give it to you. I'm like, I was told I was hired with that kind of thing in mind. If I'm not going to get it, I might as well not be here and do something else. But I digress, you know. It, it's at least helped me out in the in the interim but i'm not going to stay there if it's not going to keep up with what they say they're going to keep up with but that's besides the point you know it does slow things down a little bit but i have been doing some interviews in the meantime i might get a job at best buy that would be nice you know being around tech stuff all day would be awesome for me but i do have another one in mind as a potential and i'll see how that goes depending on when they answer back so i'll be dealing with that stuff throughout the week but until then, I will be recording almost every single day just to make sure that I got enough footage ahead of time. Just plonk on down here. The tribute to Viana Rapport. Ah, this stuff again. Ugh. I got a whole bunch of copper, so. This is fine, I guess. I need right now. I need the blue stuff. So I need either dihydrogen or hydrogen, sodiums. My hydrogens and sodiums. That's all I need right now. The hydrogens and sodiums. Do I have any on my freighter. Shadow turns the sun rays. 
Yes, I do. As sodium, I have dioxide, which is not what I need. Alright, let's go ahead and pop on in. I'm gonna go ahead and summon our freighter here while we're at it. Hey there, freighter boy. Platinum in here. Anything good besides platinum? There we go. That's the tritium I needed to see. That's a gold nugget. I don't care. Gold. More tritium. Good, good, good. Tritium hypercluster. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the freighter, pick up the stuff, activate those ley lines. Hey, I see you flying into my freighter. Do you have any dihydrogen? Let's see. Let's break up these hyperclusters. Let's see. I got any recharges. Anyway. There we go. You. you. What you got for me? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, bye. Yeah, Starship Fuel, Frost Crystal, Spacium. Nothing I need. Thanks, but no thanks, my guy. Uh, let's see. What's going where? I need my freighter stuff. I need sodium. Take some pyrite, just to be safe. I'll take dioxide, because I don't know if that counts or not. We'll find out. Where are my other ships? Alright, maybe you have some bad. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. Mm, no, you don't. And you're selling stuff at like exorbitant prices. You're insane if you think I'm gonna buy any of that stuff from you. Alright, well, bye. Here are my other ships. Ah, yes, good old flame boy. Alright, what do you have? Do you have anything good for me? Gold and silver. Not what I need. What about on my storage ship? Do you have anything on here? Ah, the bones. And gold nuggets. Hmm. I do need to sell these anyway. I can't carry all that right now. I'll do that later. The, the Skylark has a an engine, right? I think it lets it recharge on its own. No? Efficiency thruster. Yes, you do. No, you don't. I lied. You don't have the self-recharge. I think it's just this one that has it. Recharger, yeah, you do. Okay, you do have the recharger. I'll use this one for now, I guess. It's gonna be slow, but you know what? I'd rather not have to deal with getting more launch fuel and all this other stuff back to back to back to back. If I could just do this. Yeah, I know. My freighter's right there in proximity. Mm, come on, pulse engine. There we go. Now, what, one thing I definitely need to do is upload all my discoveries. So, I will be glad to have anybody give some information or some uh, interesting names that they want to name some of these planets or creatures. Let's land right here. Let's charge up this ley line. Alright, so this one needs to charge. 
Oh, that one doesn't count. So I need dihydrogen. Deuterium. I can't even pronounce that. I'm tired right now. Cobalt, ionized cobalt, or salt. There, so I just need the cobalt ones. Is there cobalt on this planet somewhere? Bulky roots, damage machinery, pyrite. What do we have on this planet? Oh, there's Deuterium. So there are plants with Deuterium around here. Oh wait, no, that's the jetpack plant. Isn't it? Yeah, it's the jetpack plant. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and pick up that hydrogen, I guess. There. Should be the last little bit of okay. Let's just plant next to the rock. Uh, it should be hopefully the last little bit of dihydrogen I need for this. Hey, it's my outro. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I was actually playing a a no copyright sounds mix, like their best songs of 2019. Apparently, this is one of them. I'm actually kind of happy that that's in there now. Ooh, crystal fragment, nice. I love this song though, to be honest. I actually listened to the whole song randomly. But yeah, um, I was actually going to mention something about this. Uh, not the mix, but uh, what's going on in the future for me now. Besides the new job search and all that stuff yet again, I will be building my computer, as I mentioned before, in November. And I'm actually really excited because I did do some more changes. I'm not going to go with the Ryzen 9 anymore, unfortunately, due to the fact that it's one, price gouging is extreme right now, but two is the fact that it's so difficult to come, like, to come across. Like, you, you have to get lucky enough to find a Ryzen 9. And I don't want to wait till, you know, next year to get a Ryzen 9 rather than just, hey, build with the Ryzen 7 anyway, you know, similar performance if you overclock it, so I, was, I just thought to myself, ow, it's just hit me, is there an asshole plant in there, yep, but yeah, uh, I thought to myself, you know what, I might as well just go with the Ryzen 7 3700X, uh, what, okay, that's underground, you know what, I'm not even going to that mess, I don't know what the grass is doing either, it's a very strange thing. We're gonna ignore that and no, oh, stop it. We're gonna ignore that and move on. I also need to recharge because I'm going to run out of oxygen. There we go, much better. But yeah, so I will be using the Ryzen 7 instead with 3700X. Still gonna do water cooling. Still gonna have you know my GTX 1070 unless I get an RTX 2070 on sale during Black Friday, which would be awesome if I could upgrade to a 2070. I'd still rather wait for an AMD card, but I don't know how long this is going to be before they drop the big Navi card. So, eh, that's a big maybe. Okay. Is that it? Is it done? Traveler Anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 I approach the portal. I think of my travels so far. The decisions that I have made in my long journey. Found two travelers, one who wanted to meet one of their kind, 
one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, but we could not find each other. And Artemis allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul in the simulation. I would not wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if it was right to do what I did. I do not know what I could have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me, should I choose to step through. Let's input these glyphs. I step forward. The gateway hums. Alright. It's open again. But yeah, so like I was saying, you know, I'm going to do the Ryzen 7 3700X. If I find an RTX 2070 or the Super version on sale during Black Friday, I might pick one of those up as well. I am going to, you know, increase my storage, get better RAM, and go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM so I can actually edit a little bit faster. And storage-wise, I'm going up to, let me see, I have one and a half terabytes right now. I'm adding another four possibly five depending on how much money i save on sales you know i'm gonna have the one pump the one rad eight fans total it's it's gonna be a really beefy system and i'm gonna love every minute of it and it's gonna be fun to actually build the whole thing as a, like just in general it's gonna take me a whole day just to do it because i'm gonna be nervous but i've got the cable splitters i've got everything ready to go and i'm gonna get all that stuff going in hopefully November, the beginning or the middle of November. So I'll try to have all my episodes up and pre-recorded and such so that everything goes up. But I digress. Let's go ahead and get this going. Into the portal! It's over this way. I'm just curious. I want to see what this place actually looks like. We learned the Corvax word for life. Corvax word for if you. Really? These are word bubbles. Abandoned objects. Oh, this is so trippy. Where, where did I get now? Nothing? Oh, we're right there. For me to learn. This is this is beautifully designed, mind you. I'm loving this interior. I would love to make my base look like this on the inside. Uh, oh, also I learned that there's a whole bunch of new base building stuff going on now that the Quicksilver store has been added. So I will be doing that most likely off screen just to get that stuff in there. Go talk to the Atlas now. I think that's enough to know. I don't remember these being here. Hmm. I got a warp cell. Got more warp cells. Okay. Hello, world. It's the same terminal I faced before. It was the interface of the Atlas. Let's say hello. It'd be rude. An audio recording plays, echoing across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior. 
that you've been questioning things, raising issues of your purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, there I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still in silence. Uh, let's initiate personality interface, I guess. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. Scream? The Atlas showed me the Geth, the Corvax, and the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me the formula for her soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the face of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe re reduced to a graphical interface. Scream some more. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know, and that no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. So it's either the universe is a simulation, nothing is real, or nothing is real, the universe is a simulation, nothing is real, the universe is a simulation. Oh god, that's terrible. I... I feel... Defiance. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of not as machine, how I felt towards simulation. I feel... I feel I'm not myself. I cannot accept this fate. I will not. This, all of this, is supposed to be my birthright. My journey across the stars, my travel, my conquest of it all I can see. No, I am real. I know I am, even if everything else I see is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler. Did my worlds please you? They did. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think they are? Or what do you think you are? Oh, I am a traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe you are real? Yes. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? How are you capable of choice? I will let you write, die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. The Gek were traitors defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Corvax were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. You allowed Iteration Artemis to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence rather than force them into a simulation. Iteration, Apollo, followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. I am a simulated being, and I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. 16. I... It... Catastrophic System Failure Alert. Alert. 16 mit... 16... What am I... What am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in... It... What is this place? Is it real? I... Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators, 1 through 9,845, failing. Data upload in... It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out to me, afraid. It's comfort to think. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might. Its final interface. It is the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools. It cannot reach whatever is hurting it. 
I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetime? Minutes? Sec? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... If... I'd, I'd probably scream. What? What is happening to... Well, that was a bit of a doozy. Not really sure how to process that. We just got revealed that the entire simulation, the entire reality of No Man's Sky is a simulation, which is meta because it is technically a simulation inside of a game. Wait. I'm on yet another planet? Lethal humidity outbreaks? My ship is all the way over there. And granted, this is a gorgeous planet. Like, yes. This, this might be another one I build a base on. Not in policy, dedicated travelers to the research. I don't care about the anomaly thing right now. Locate and board your starship. Can I summon it? Oh, it's damaged. Oh, heck. But I can summon the other one. Life support offline. Oh, God. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No. Why'd you land all the way over there? Now, why can't I summon you? And where is it damaged? Said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous and calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Resist it. I try to resist, but the bile within rises. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response, detected. Countermeasure deployed. Purge, neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Let's see what I should do now. The exosuit doesn't answer, but I do feel better. Talking to a computer as if it's alive, well, I've made a habit of it lately, I suppose. I was born with the capacity to do many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have days, hours, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight, boys. We gotta find a hollow terminus. One is already detected. Where is my other ship? Because I wish to fix it. Ow. There we go. I'm definitely not going to be able to jetpack all the way up to the top. I wish I could, but... We're gonna do this. And this planet is gorgeous though. Warning, network failure. 16, warning, network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning a total failure. But I must do what I can, I must tell the others what I've learned. I warn the travelers of what I've learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. 
It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after a millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time is left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across the world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me here, and each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will, comfort, I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. No response detected. Alright, we're heading to the what should actually be the final mission of this game. Well, at least story mission anyway. That's actually pretty crazy. Holy crud, I've actually never done that before where I head to the Galactic Core to try to actually figure out the rest of the story. This is insane. So you know what? I'm going to save this off for the next episode, guys. I hope you are enjoying this story as much as I am because I am loving how deep the lore of this game has gotten now. Before, it was just make it to the center. Turns out, eh, the Atlas does it for kicks and giggles, and that was it. End of story, the end. So you can get there within like four warps. There was no other story. It was just warp closer and closer and closer until you made it. That was it. Now we actually have a dedicated story, and something is pulling the strings behind this atlas. We don't know what. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. This is the Afrolad signing out. If you liked today's episode, go and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and join the Curly Crew, and I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.